Welcome to Bluff Creek Podcast Radio. I'm Hannah. I'm Maggie. And today's special guest is... Nikki Brothers. Thank you for joining us today. So, um, what, what do you like to do in your free time? I love to read. I love to read more than anything else. What books do you like to read? Mm, I like to read different um, historical fiction books. My favorite book of all time is Gone with the Wind. Why do you like that book? I like that book because it um, makes me feel like I can know what it was like to live back then, and I love history, so I like historical fiction because it makes me feel like, hmm, this is what it was like. It It makes me feel like I actually lived it myself. If you had to go back in time, what would you change? I would change pollution, and I grew up on the Mississippi um, in Winona, which is right on the Mississippi River, and I've always been fascinated with what the river looked like before it was being polluted. Um, what do you think about um, the pollution to the air and the breaking down of the ozone layer? I think it's awful, and I think we should all try to find ways to make our own imprint and make the world better. I think that if we can put a man on the moon, we can solve this problem. Mm -hmm. We just have to want to. So um, what do you do for a job? I work at an insurance company, and I work in the compliance area. Basically, what I tell kids or other people when I'm describing my job is that I try to make sure people follow the rules, and then um, I try to help them when they when they have questions about rules and regulations. Do you have a lot of close friends that go to your work with you? I have friends that I've worked with for 10, 15 years. Um, and, and then you always meet new people, too, at work. So that's nice, too. Um, where do you go to school growing up? I went to school in Winona. And one of the things in my school growing up was that uh, there was only one class per grade. And there was only 12 kids, no, 18 kids, 12 boys and 6 girls. From kindergarten to 6th grade, I pretty much had the same kids. Maybe one or two I moved, but yeah. And then I went to a middle school where I was one of 450. (laughs) So so that was a big change. So you went to having not a lot of kids in middle school. Yeah, that was really hard. Many, many kids in middle school. Uh, small town? Yeah, it's about a town. It's a town about the size of 25,000. So, uh, what is Chanhassen? 10? Maybe do- a little bit bigger than Chanhassen. Not working. Um, so, how many people do you have in your family? Uh, in my family growing up, there was um, five. In my family now, yeah. there's I have three children two girls and a boy and all three go to Bluff Creek cool what grades are your children in? fifth third and second um what do you what was your favorite grade go, growing up mm, I still remember my first grade teacher her name was Mrs. Whetstone she did a really cool thing when I was um in high school she sent me a picture of what my class my first grade class was but I remember being the class president one week and we would you know I would lead the pledge of allegiance and I you know different special things and she yeah she was just a really cool teacher Um, me and Maggie are student council coaches and I went into Mm -hmm. we went I went into the first grade room and I remember being in first grade being remember like being not so tiny and then looking at all the other kids Mm -hmm. feeling that they were so small yep is that what you felt sometimes i was extraordinarily shy when i was younger like this would have terrified me when i was first grade so when i was in first grade yeah i i I was scared (laughs) i remember my mom had to walk me to school every day where other kids (laughs) Yeah, they were fine, but, um, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. Would you rather be inside or outside during the day? Mm. 
I'd say I'm 50-50. I love to go for walks. I love to um, go to new places and, kind of, and explore. Um, but I also love to be curled up reading a good book. Um, what places do you want to go to? Hmm. I want to go to Korea. Uh, my children were two of my children were born in Korea, so I I have always wanted to go back and be a tourist there. I want to go to Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii. Um, I love to travel. If you could go to one of those places, what do you think you would do there? Hmm. So I I traveled to Europe on my honeymoon, and one of the things that I learned was it's. It's not about every museum that you see, but about just hanging out, going for a bike ride, going for a walk, and meeting people. So I would try to be more relaxed about it and try to find where the local people hang out and kind of take in those sites. Um, there's a lot of different resources today on, on how to find a tour guide of, you know, how to do yeah. just those things. There's so many more resources on where to go and how to do, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, what... What places um, have you been? I, um, I've been to Korea twice. I've been to Germany and Aust um, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Prague and Czechoslovakia. I had a scary train ride. I thought I was going to end up in Budapest because we went, we went from Austria, so Salzburg, Austria, into or Vienna, sorry, Vienna, Austria, to Prague, and it was overnight. And at 11 o'clock, we had to change trains. And if we didn't change, we would end up in Budapest, <laughs> which is in a totally different country. So I, and I didn't speak the language. And so when they were talking, I couldn't understand what they were saying. So every stop, I was really fortunate because they had um, English on the, on the train stop, so you could see the, the words of the towns, but I was so worried that I was not going to make the train change. If you had to take a family trip somewhere, would you, where would you take your family? Mm. My first family trip I wanted to do is, is Disney World just because we, we, we usually go to Montana. My husband grew up in Montana, so that's usually our family vacation. And we haven't had that fun, just go out and have fun kind of vacation. It's usually more of a family vacation. Do you like Disney movies? I do. I just think it's so kid. Yeah. You know, it's, it's something every kid should see. I didn't, I didn't go to Disney World until I was in high school, and I've only been there once. And so I'd like my kids to see it when they're a little younger. So, um... What is one of your favorite um, tourist, tu tourist attractions in the United States? Mm, good question. Um, you know, my favorite place and somewhere where I think everybody should see is Glacier Park in Montana. And it is just a... Oh, did it stop recording? No, okay. it's fine. <laughs> Glacier Park in Montana. It's got a combination of mountains and lakes and it's it is so beautiful and you can never see enough of it um, and a lot of people go there so I guess that's well um where is your family like originated from so um, my family in my family so my parents um, the most we, we come from a lot of places but the most Familiar, the one I'm most familiar with is Norway. But we are German, Norwegian, I think three other things that I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> gets further and further removed. Have you been to Ger uh, um, Norway? Norway? I have not. I would like to go see Norway. I've been to Germany. What do you like about Germany? What I loved about Germany was that it was a lot like here, it, or it was a lot like the town I grew up in. It had a, the Rhine River and it had bluffs and like hills. Um, it just really reminded me of, of the river that I grew up on. And, and then what's really cool is you're, you're going on a riverboat ride and you see a castle sitting up on the, on the bluff. And it's, it's not a castle like the Disney castle. It's, it's like a real building that really held off invaders and things. But, so it's got, yeah. Do you think um, you would go back to that 
time period where there were kings and queens. If I could be a guy, <laughs> the women had a hard time because they had to they had to marry the right person in order to have you know to be taken care of. Do you think it's important to have women rights? Absolutely. I think we live in an amazing country and we are very fortunate. Most of the um, most of the things that happened back in, in 1915 still are happening today for women rights and mm -hmm. we're not given as much rights as men. No, it's still a fight and you know the most important thing is to stand up for that. So when you know you're being paid less than somebody, a male, doing your same job, it's important to stand up for that. It's hard to do that. It's really hard, but yeah, I agree. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you for so, so much for joining us today. Today's podcast was brought to you by Bluff Creek Podcast Radio, encouraging you to connect with someone new today.